Dinosaur Choir allows gallery visitors and musicians to give life to an extinct dinosaur. Participants blow into a microphone activating the dinosaur computational vocal box, which produces a sounding vocalization resonating through the dinosaur's nasal passages and skull. I guess when, we, when I think about the dinosaurs and why I started the Dinosaur Choir as kind of an extension of my earlier work, is, is in my work in social music and participatory music and that I think that that is really important is that we're creating music and I think that dinosaurs allow a different type of person that who may not think that they're into music they might become into music the way that I got into dinosaurs because there's a dinosaur sound. Notice that we have such a research program, which is perfect for first-year student, which is us, because normally, like freshmen, don't have so much opportunity to reach out to some uh, research program. And we are matching to the dinosaur choir because I'm doing computer science and Ella's doing music, so it is like perfectly matching us, like matching our thoughts on research. So I got a random email last <laughs> July before I came to SMU. Would you be interested in the first-year undergraduate research program? And I was like, huh. yeah, why not? Sure. The Dinosaur Choir specifically, I was looking through all of them and it just seems so unique to me. Yeah. And that's why I wanted to choose it. Totally. Because I was like, if someone sees that I, A, did undergraduate research as a freshman and B, worked on computer generated dinosaur vocalizing software mm -hmm. as a freshman, that's like, they're gonna ask you questions about that. Super cool. I just hope by dinosaurs, I can bring people in to new sounds, experimental sounds, and then people can become connected together in a way. You're like all just making fun together, having fun together, like an ensemble. So I think that's really an essential part of the human experience. <laughs>